equivalent ratios, which are also known as proportions. Equivalent ratios is the very beginning to working with, with ratios, and when you first learn how to work with ratios by looking at equivalents, then you can start solving and you can do many more interesting things including problem solving as well, which uses proportions again. So before we get into all the more major types of complex questions, what I want to do first is explain what equivalent ratio is. Basically, if you have a ratio, 3 quarters is equal to 6 eighths, those two are equivalent. Just as 3 quarters is equal to 6 eighths written as a fraction. Now some of you may have taken that in the past, but I'm going to just go over this to show you why. And then that basically is to say that you have the same ratio. If, if the fractions are equivalent, the ratio is equivalent. So I, I just have a, a quick little thing here that I want to show you. First of all, if you've got 3 quarters and you want to show that's equivalent to 6 eighths, Basically, here's one whole, which are four quarters, and another one whole, which are eight eighths. And you can see they're the same height. Now, if you only have three quarters, that would be up to there, and six eighths would mean you take away two of the eighths, and notice they're still the same height. Now, they're the same amount, but they actually are written differently because this only has three pieces, whereas this has six pieces when you have six eighths. So that's why you say that they're equivalent because they're not exactly the same. They have different meanings. Six eighths means you have six pieces and each piece is an eighth. Three quarters says that you have three pieces and each piece is a quarter, but they, have, they are the same amount at the end. That's equivalent fractions. Ratios, therefore, work exactly the same way where you have here, 3 to 4 is equivalent to 6 to 8. It's just a different way of writing it. Now, they're equivalent or proportional. So, if 3 to 4, I'm going to just do a quick little, little example. You already know the answer to this, but we're going, I'm going to show you how to figure it out. If 3 to 4 equals n to 8, and this would be the type of question you get given, you want to find what n is. Well, the very first thing you do is you write it as a fraction. So 3 to 4 equals n to 8, and then you can solve for that. Well, very quickly, you can see here 4 times 2 is 8, so 3 times 2 would be 6, and that would be your answer. So n would equal 6. All right. Now, another way you can look at this is you can say, well, if, if you know what 3 quarters is equal to n to 8, then it's just like if you had a question, I'm going to ask you to come down here for a second. If you had 3 times, um, 3, uh, sorry, 3 is equal to n over 2, how would you solve that? So you have something divided by 2 is equal to 3. Well, you know that something has to be a 6. And another way you can think about that is do the reverse um, reverse operation divided by. So you can do n divided by 2. Instead, you can do the reverse operation, do 3 times 2 would equal n. And 3 times 2 is 6. So you're basically sort of bringing that up here and you're multiplying during the reverse um, operation when you bring it to the other side of the equal sign. So here, up here, if you come back here, you could have done 8 times 3 divided by 4. And that would equal your n, and this goes in once, twice, you have 6 is equal to n. That's basic fractions that you've learned in the unit before this. Okay, so that's a quick one. Now, let's go to the next one, and this one you have 8 to 7 and 21 to 49 are equivalent. So therefore, you can figure out what a is. You have to know they're equivalent before you can figure it out, but basically, a, so what you want to do is a to 7 as a fraction is equal to 21 to 49. So 7 times 7 is 49, and so a times, or something times 7 is equal to 21. 
because you multiply this by 7, you need to do the same times 7. So what times 7 equals 21? Well, that's 3. Okay. Again, you can multiply up. So you can say 21 over 49 times 7. And 7 goes into 49 7 times. 21 divided by 7 would be 3. So you get your answer again. Okay, so there's your equivalent fraction, or rationals calculating for an unknown. Now in this case, you've got 5 to b is equal to 11 to 17. So I've written this in two different ways. I've written it as that as a fraction, 5 over b equals 11 over 17. I've made sure that the first two numbers are in the numerator and the last two in the denominator. You can, or you can do it the other way around. You could say, well, let's do it, the first two as a denominator and the, the second two as a numerator. And if you do that, sometimes students find this a little easier to calculate. And if you're to calculate that, I'm just going to do this quickly, this would be b equals 17 over 11 times 5. And so 17 times 5 is 85 over 11 and b would then equal 7 and 8 elevenths. Here, let's just write that up here. Okay, so that is equal to your b. And, um, and so if you've got b is equal to that, you can actually check it out and you can get the same answer using this, this one as well, this way. It's just a little longer because what you have to do is flip them and then you can solve for that way. But both ways work. And I wanted to just show you that. Okay, in this case, you've got a, uh, n to 18 is equal to 5 to 23. So you have n to 18 is equal to 5 over 23. And you can multiply that out. So you have n equals 5 times 18 over 23. And 5 times 18 is 90 over 23. So you want to make that into an improper fraction. 4 times 23 would be 92. That's just, that's too larger than the 90, so we know that's going to be 3 and 21 out of 23. So look how you've solved for these ratios. Notice this is the, the ratio, ratio form and this is in the fractional form so that you can actually find out what that number is back in this ratio. Now I've also done something very quickly here just in case you're having some difficulty with that multiplying. If you have 2 times a equals 8, then a would equal the opposite um, operation which is 8, here, 8 divided by 2 which is 4. 2 times what a is, 4, is equal to 8, which works. And again, here, this isn't so obvious, but what you would do again is 3 times something is equal to 10, so 10 divided by that 3 would equal that a, which of course is 3 and 1 third. All right, so there is in ratios, equivalent ratios, you first of all have to write it as a fraction if you can, and then, um, and then you need to solve somehow to figure out how you can get the same, if you multiply 18 times 3 and 21 over 23, you will get 23, and, and, so, you, and so you need to figure out what this would be, and, and you've got it. Okay, thanks, bye.